Touchdown, Tiger! The shot is up. It's a free ball for the Tiger. Uh, she was she was very interesting, and she has this really really magnetic personality. You know, always smiling, always happy. The moment you meet her, you just want to be friends with her. She's a great person. She was very impressive on the court. I mean, she even when she was doing drills, the very first day I came to RCC and I saw her here, and she was just phenomenal. And it was she automatically I she, I wanted to be like her. Like, I wanted to have her tennis goals because she was really good. I got a phone call from the men's tennis coach, Harvey Ertl. Um, he was the coach at the time. And he had said there was a girl in his class that he thought was pretty good. And I was teaching a class at night that time. We happened to get out early because we were having a test. So I walked over to the courts and I was standing, standing at the top watching this person hit with this man. And I'm like, oh, I won't say what I said, but it was like, holy moly, are you serious? You've been keeping this person a secret from me? I walked down, um, I ignored Harvey because he was teaching the class and went up on the court, introduced myself. And you know, she had the best smile, um, so friendly, kind of taken aback probably because I was like all over her, like, oh my gosh, where have you been? From that point on, it was kind of, you know, her history and what she did for the program, what she did for a teammate. Both years that she played for me, she was on teams that great girls but their skill level was very very low she was awesome she never made them feel less than she only built them up and she never ever made them feel bad she often helped me with coaching them to help them you know better and eventually she did become my assistant coach here at RCC talking to her mom tennis was not her best sport she is a very athletic girl um, soccer was her best sport but she was playing basketball over at UCR she ended up getting hurt and injured, so she wasn't playing on the team anymore. She got a little depressed and bummed, and um, her mom entered her in a contest. And it was in the Final Four contest, and in that contest they have a um, person at halftime that's able to shoot um, a, a shot in the basket. They can win a million dollars. Well, guess what? She made the shot. So she won a million dollars. She split the million dollars with her mom, having that money and, you know, being upset about her injury, she ended up here at RCC, which was the best thing that could ever happen to me because she is literally the best tennis player that I've ever had play for me. She's one of those that are born talented. She's a tennis player. She's a soccer player. She's a basketball player. You give her a kite and her kite will fly higher than everyone else's. I mean, she's just that good at, at everything. I would say that Alicia is an amazing person. She's very thoughtful. She has a huge heart. She inspires me to be a better coach now at the place that I'm coaching personally. And she's just so kind. 